Good morning. Welcome back to the OHSU Effect Inside Health and Science. I'm Lacey Evans. Let's get healthy, shall we? With me now on the OHSU Effect is Jackie Shannon and Lisa Marriott, the Director and Associate Director of the Let's Get Healthy program. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I just want to jump right into it. Explain this Let's Get Healthy program. Well, Let's Get Healthy is an education research exhibit based out of OHSU, and what it does is it educates the public about their health while at the same time collecting anonymous data that can be used for uh, public health research. So at the same time as you're learning about your own health, you're actually advancing science, which makes it pretty unique. Yeah. Jackie, do you want to explain this a little a little more in depth? I mean, what, what kind of uh, information are people giving? Well, when people come to the fair, they actually have opportunity to participate in several different types of modules. They can learn about their diet, so they complete a really brief diet screener and have tailored feedback on how they're, how they're eating. They provide information on body composition and learn about their own body composition, so their BMI, their percent body fat, their waist circumference. Um, they can also learn about other things that are a little more novel. They can learn about their sleep patterns, so are they a morning person or an evening person? Um, how should they change how they're, when they're choosing to exercise based on whether they're a morning person or an evening person, are they getting enough hours of sleep at night? Um, they can also provide um, blood specimens where they can actually have their blood cholesterol tested. So they're not, we're not keeping any blood samples, but they can have um, blood sample screening to look at total cholesterol, HDL, LDL, uh, glucose, and triglycerides. And then there's another, a number of other stations that are really just kind of for fun Um, that we've developed together with OMSI that are are games that also complement a number of these other stations. So these are community events. You guys go to schools and fairs and things like that? That's correct. And so Mm -hmm. I guess kind of explain, can anyone just sign up and can anyone participate? Yes, it's open to pretty much anyone of all ages and everything is tailored. The program is tailored to the individual people based on their age. So someone who is coming through who's an eight-year-old boy is going to get very, very different recommendations than who may be a 45-year-old woman. And, but there's kind of two parts to this, right? I mean, not only are you helping that person who came through, but you guys are kind of collecting and researching the data as well, right? Yes, it makes it really unique and really exciting. Yeah, Jackie, do you want to explain that a little bit? Well, it's really fun because we can actually work with um, investigators at OHSU. So one example is I'm I'm very interested in a number of other individuals in uh, cancer prevention. And so we've been working on developing stations that teach particularly children but also adults about cancer prevention and cancer risk screening. So we have a station that talks about um, breast cancer screening that's been developed in collaboration with an individual over at the night. And this asks people a number of different questions to assess whether they um, engage in screening practices and then also helps us understand about barriers to um, women obtaining mammograms and what their understanding is so that then we can use that information to provide better access to services. So what is the ultimate goal of Let's Get Healthy? Personally, I think it's to improve the health of uh, everybody in Oregon to for them to learn about their own health, to take the steps that they want to take in order to improve their health. And at the same time, we're able to uh, analyze the data and then provide it back so we can provide uh, additional feedback that's scientifically based that can then help them with these efforts. Jackie? Well, I think it provides a really fascinating snapshot of the health of Oregonians um, in the different places that we go. And I think when one really... Um, important aspect that I like of it is it actually is one of the few programs that targets middle school children and provides them with something really easily accessible to help them learn about themselves and help them as they're really just beginning to start making their own choices in their health. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You mentioned middle schoolers, but so who has taken part? Where have you guys been? Who have, who have you talked to? So we've gone to middle schools pretty much around the state. So uh, in St. Helens, for example, in Union County, for example, down in Westland Wilsonville. Um, so, for example, we're able to uh, work with schools, but the reason that I chuckle is that we're able to work with schools, and it's amazing how many kids you can reach in a short period of time. So, for example, when we went down to Westland Wilsonville in three days, we were able to uh, assess 1,700 kids, which is amazing. And so then we're able to provide that data back to the schools so they can then better understand their own health. The schools can then use that data if they want to create, uh, use it for pilot data to then generate projects. Um, the, what's also really exciting for me is the high school, is their AP statistics class is actually using the data as a data set, and then they're using it to uh, learn statistics. And then some of the students are actually using it for 
Intel International Science and Engineering Fair project, which is called ICEF. So ICEF projects using the data. So it just keeps growing and growing. And so it's really exciting for me to be able to you know, go to one of these events and see some students present. And then the parents are coming through and they're like, oh, I remember when my daughter went through that. So it's really a nice program that kind of feeds forward. And we have some lessons that are, have been developed that kind of extend its use in schools. And it's just it's a really feel good program. And is it instant feedback? Do these middle schoolers see instantly the, the bad things that they could be doing to their bodies? Instantly. What, what is their reaction, Jackie, when they see that they might be drinking too much soda or not getting enough sleep or something like that? Um, they, <laughs> they, they kind of laugh about it some, and they're surprised. A lot of times when they're, when they're working with some of these games, they'll find it fascinating, and then they'll be really surprised, and they'll want to talk to their friends about it. You know, oh, did, did you see that, you know, I guessed the wrong, you know, how many fruits and vegetables I'm eating and how many fruits and vegetables are you eating? Um, so they tend to compare a little bit, but then they also, they take the information home and they, they think about it a little bit more. And I, one of the important pieces is the development, and Lisa's been doing a lot of this, working with the teachers to develop lesson plans where this can come back into the classroom. So it's, it, it is a one-shot deal at the school fair, but then in the classroom they get to learn about these things in more detail and begin to really understand, well, how can I begin to change this or, you know, what are the long-term impacts of some of my behavior patterns? Well, so I understand you just said the kids get to see instant feedback, but what about once the overall project is completed and all the data you've compiled from several different middle schools, will participants be able to to see that and learn about that? That's the goal. Yeah. So uh, we're still in our infancy, if you will. Uh, we're just starting to get a large amount of data that we're starting to publish. But the goal is that you're able not only to see it from how scientists publish it, but also the schools are able to then use it, work with it, and generate projects. We'll, we'll be able to help the schools and show how these data can be used. It's, it's really exciting. Uh, and we have a, a pending grant that may help us facilitate these efforts as well. So we're really excited about it. That's the goal. To, I mean, to show how data can make an impact. I mean, that's what it's all about. And it. Oh, go one, ahead, Jackie. One particular long-term goal, I think, that would address some of that is we're, we're hoping to be able to put this onto a website so that if you keep your barcode, you can come back to the website and see your own information as well as, as information that we've collected from around the state. So you say barcode. So I'm sure people are going to be wondering about confidentiality and privacy and all that. It, is their information private? Absolutely. So we use the barcode. So just like when you're at the grocery store and you have this random number on a tomato can, it's exactly the same thing. So it's an eight-digit number. It's just randomly generated, and we just print out a whole bunch of stickers, slap them randomly on barcodes. So then when someone comes through, if they want to participate, they have the option of participating. When you just pick a random barcode up out of the pile, put it on the individual, and now that number allows all of the data to be linked at any of the stations they want to do. So not only do you not know anything about you know the name of the person or where they live, but you uh, allow them to link their data without asking them anything about themselves, specifically like related to their their personal information. Sure, sure. So it kind of almost sounds like there's two lessons here, you know, the healthy lesson, but then also just about how health research works, because is that, you know, important for people to understand as well? Absolutely. There are many, many protections in place. And that's one of the things that's very important to us is, is that research isn't just being done willy nilly. There are a lot of really regulations that are being done. And people are very, very thoughtful about how they go about the about the process and that there is a, a process that uh, oversees all of this. And that's really important. And do, how do people react, Jackie, when they understand that they're a part of something bigger here? They're actually, they, they tend to be very excited about it. Um, I think one of the, the things that will stick with me for a long time is when we first started doing these fairs at OMSI, people would come through and on their barcode it says research participant and they took this very seriously and I remember a woman coming through the fair with her very young children and she had gone through two of the of the modules and the baby started crying and she came and she said is it okay if I just leave and go feed the baby and then I'll come back and I said well that's, that's perfectly fine you don't need to worry about coming back it's you know this is all voluntary and she said oh absolutely no I'm I'm a research participant I want to I want to give you more data oh, and so I think people are really excited about it and um, are fascinated that it can be that easy to be part of a research study. Well, good. Well, just about 30 seconds left, and I know you guys have a few events coming up in Bend, but any other events you want to tell us about or how can schools get involved in this if they're interested? So we do have a website, and there is a opportunity for them to learn more about the process, and there's going to be an application package where they can then sign up 
but they can get more information. We also offer a lending library, which is really great for small events. So, for example, if you are a school and you're having a small fair, you don't want the whole kit and caboodle of the education and research, we offer a lending library that's free that's available for use around public, around Oregon. Jackie Shannon, the director of the Let's Get Healthy program, and Lisa Marriott, the associate director. Thank you both for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Great. Thank you.